Ubisoft has been on the downward spiral for the last few years. I mean, ask yourself, really ask yourself, when was the last time you were truly hyped for a Ubisoft title like back in the days with Assassin's Creed and Far Cry? But it's not just fan outcry and disappointing games or the lack of any mention of their games whatsoever in a positive light. Ubisoft is genuinely drowning right now. Let's get right into the details of why that is. So recently, I found a lot of uproar about Ubisoft, and considering that their latest game, Star Wars Outlaws, released not too long ago, that shouldn't be too surprising. Except it wasn't really about Star Wars Outlaws, and when it was, it really wasn't positive. I mean, look at this clip that I found on Twitter, where the AI of Star Wars Outlaws get compared to Assassin's Creed Black Flag's AI, which was released 10 years ago. You in the bush, out, die! You can't escape us! Huh? I'll pay you! Anything like... No one keep away! I'm Top priority. Continue searching. Engage the target! So it doesn't surprise anyone that this game only sold 1 million copies in its first month of release. And while that might seem like a very, very big feat for a company that is well, an indie company with barely any uh, experience and barely any marketing, but a Ubisoft, a big company like this, one of the, the biggest companies, 1 million is nothing to them. They have sold games way better than this. Now, let's not forget that this game being, you know, so only selling 1 million copies and not doing too well was actually received by the CEO of Ubisoft. And he said, well, it's the problem of the consumer, right? It's their, their fault that the game didn't sell well because of course it's our fault, right? You're not making a good product. So it's our fault that we don't like your product. Black Mid Wukong, however, when you look at that game, was able to sell 20 million copies already. And maybe even more at this moment. I mean, we don't really know the exact numbers, but it wasn't even published by a big company, a big studio. It is just a cool game that people really like, that people are having fun with, and that people got hyped for, and it did it marketing well. Now, don't get me wrong. You might be watching this video and think to yourself, well, I enjoyed Star Wars Outlaws. I enjoyed the latest Assassin's Creed games. I'm enjoying Rainbow Six Siege. I'm enjoying so many different games from Ubisoft. So why the hell are you hating on them? And I got to be honest with you, great. Honestly, that's the only thing I really have to say to you. Great, enjoy the game because that is honestly what I want people to do. I want people to enjoy the games. But just know Ubisoft, when we look back to their golden days, when they made Assassin's Creed Black Flag, for instance, it shows that they could be making way better games and way more games if they weren't putting so much time in the wrong sections of the game like for instance inclusivity or having this weird reason for like making the open worlds just so bland and, and and lifeless so that they can just push out more stupid missions that don't really matter to anyone and give you pretty much nothing i understand that you enjoyed their games and you can still enjoy their games trust me i do it's just that me personally i don't and clearly from the numbers it shows that a lot of people don't really care anymore about ubisoft's way of making a game or how they hold your hand and whatever there's way too many issues for people out there but i'm not here to take away your fun now a lot of people still defend them and i get it like I said Ubisoft had their golden days they had their time where Assassin's Creed was at its prime with Black Flag but it wasn't just Assassin's Creed I mean we have the Splinter Cell series we have the Rainbow Six series and I'm not just talking about Rainbow Six Siege we also have Prince of Persia series we have Beyond Good and Evil which still needs a second game but we have that game we have so many different titles that ubisoft came out with that had so much love and effort put into them and that really showed that and they tried to be innovative and those were the the, the pushers of the of the whole industry but that company and it's really sad trust me i hate it myself that company no longer exists yes it's still the same name but it is not the same company lots of people have either moved on left uh people have been added the the, the whole thing has grown assassin's creed mirage was made by i think what 300 people 
for years that that's way too big of a scale for a game that's like a seven out of ten it, it doesn't work that way that company doesn't exist anymore and we need to understand that this company is now being run by corporate schmucks who only care about one thing money let's not forget by the way that not too long ago ubisoft was actually talking no the ceo was actually saying hey you should get comfortable with not owning your games you're, you're just renting your games at this point like you do not own them when you buy them we've digitalized everything so when you buy our games you're not actually buying our games if ubisoft decides that you know they we should get comfortable not owning our games then they should also get comfortable that we're not owning their games because we're not buying them anymore and that is honestly so beautiful and i love it so much that the internet has decided to you know fight back against this i love seeing the gaming community actually actually fight back against the injustice that this company has been doing us for the last time. Now, when we look at the stock price for Ubisoft, it has been going downhill, right? Stock prices are a pretty good way to see how much like the, the, the investors want to pay for this and how it, interesting it is to them. And in the last five years, it's gone down, which can be normal, right? Sometimes companies aren't doing as well as they did before. But in the last five years, the company's stock price has gone down a whopping 83%. That is huge. And it will probably go down even more now, considering that they pushed back on their SS Creed Shadows release, which will only be in February while we're here in October. One of the investors holding less than a percent of the company's shares is actually already telling the company to sell. They're asking to sell the company. And apparently 10% of the shareholders are actually with them on this, saying that they also want the company to be sold at a fair price to a third party or a private firm or whatever, so that it can be you know, redistributed and that the IPs can be given to someone else. I don't know how exactly this is all going to work when that does happen, because let's be honest here, chances are pretty fair that this is going to happen. I mean, it's going down here. It's really, really bad for the company, for a company that made one of the best games in some people's opinions. Assassin's Creed Shadows is pretty much their only shot at this point, right? They're drowning. They clearly have lots of people that want them to go down. I mean, I see a lot of TikToks and Twitter posts and whatever, talking about how they want Ubisoft's downfall to happen, how they want the company to really go down, bankrupt, gone with it. And I'm going to be honest with you, I understand that sentiment. I understand it completely because honestly, it, it's been nothing but schmuck like nothing but slop from the company for the last couple of years and they keep delivering the same product they're not innovating they're focusing more on giving a story that's inclusive to everyone but not a good story actually they care more about adding a black samurai to a game which was pure fiction in a game that's about historical events now they made their choices i'm going to be honest with you like i said assassin's creed shadows here is their last attempt their last shot at actually being able to go back to their glory days and we'll see how it goes because honestly i saw recently that it's been pushed back for february and while that might be seen as a bad thing they've also put a bunch of different changes to how they will be selling it first of all ubisoft connect will no longer be needed for the game the game will just sell on steam you'll no longer need like uh, you used to do where you press play and then you first have to connect to ubisoft connect and then once you've done that you can actually start running the game but if you close ubisoft connect the game also closes a whole bunch of stuff for no apparent reason just to add an extra layer of difficulty on playing your game that you just want to play you don't care about the company's forefront you care about just buying your game and playing the game then we also have that there's no pre-order exclusive um, early access there used to be this uh, whole system with Ubisoft. It was this case for Star Wars Outlaws, where if you pre-ordered the game, you could get three days early access. The problem with that one, for Star Wars Outlaws, there was a bug in the game, and the bug got fixed in the uh, day one patch, but that meant that those people who played the three days worth of the game actually had to delete their save data and start the game over in order to play without that bug. And it was pretty much a very game breaking bug at that point. And so they paid extra to get early access and, and they just got 
screwed over by Ubisoft, by one of the biggest companies out there. And so they've done that. They've gotten rid of that. Apparently, Shadows also had a battle pass. That's gone. That's out the window. Thank God. Why do we even have battle passes in a fucking game that I paid 60 bucks for? That is single player. There is literally no reason except for the company wanting more money out of my pockets to add a battle pass in a single player game. Now, I really hope that whoever these executives are and whoever these people are that might be running Ubisoft in the near future, considering it's possible downfall and, and getting sold, let this be a reminder to them that if they go back to the glory days where they cared about people and not about the money in their wallets, that the company would actually do well and that people would actually like playing their games and will be hyped. And then you can tell good stories and how you can even put that inclusivity in there. That doesn't even matter. You can do that if it's done well, like a lot of games have done. And if you do that, honest to God, the company will go back to its glory days and we can have a bunch of good games that maybe in 10 years time I'll be making videos about Ubisoft being one of the best companies out there for gaming at that point. But we will have to see. This was my whole take on the situation and I'm sure that after seeing this video you've had your whole opinion yourself. So leave it down in the comments below so I can read it and I can have a discussion with you about it. While you're down there, also subscribe to the channel for more gaming commentary just like this. Anyhow, I just told you this whole story about Ubisoft's downfall and how it's drowning and how they're trying to survive here. But I actually did make a video about Ubisoft not too long ago, where I talked a bit about how they're not really going to change. So why not check out that video and I'll see you there.